The day we elected Wilco Johnson president, the sun shone, which was a start. He walked into Parliament with a heart full of honest intentions and a telecaster in his arms, and we were one nation under a groove, under a riff, a distinctive choppy furious down and dirty, and your mama wouldn't like this riff. The day we elected Wilco Johnson president, the House of Commons rocked out in a way it hadn't since Pitt the Younger's solo on a harpsichord he smuggled into the chamber during the poor law debate, stilled the shouting, stopped the discord dead, and became the stuff of legend. But now, we had amplification, and a lot more soul. The day we elected Wilco Johnson president, we ditched the old national anthem for the new. This bloke from Canvey Island saying, well, shit happens. 80,000 people roared along at Wembley. The Five Live commentator was still chuckling when San Marino scored their second. England lost 3-1. No one cared. Because the day we elected Wilco Johnson president, we recognised that death is just part of the cycle of life. It's what you do with your time here that matters. We're all just feathers blowing in the wind. The Daily Mail was lost for words. They hadn't got an editorial for that. You see, the day we elected Wilco Johnson president, the sun shone. Or it may have rained. I don't know. I was drunk for a week, singing our three-word anthem with strangers, then with friends, watching borders become meaningless, wealth become worthless. His simple words. I don't want to be greedy. Echoing in my mind like a telecaster. Riffing on sustain.